In Puerto Rico, something beautiful is happening. I just left my job. I gave my card to the bank. And I just moved here. In the aftermath of disaster, in the absence of government, it's the Puerto Rican people like Jose who are coming together to fix the island. Last September, Hurricane Maria devastated Puerto Rico. Millions were without power, water, or access to vital resources for months. Many still to this day. In many places, the government was just too slow or simply inadequate in responding. But this is a proud island, so Puerto Ricans were forced to come together and heal for themselves. After Maria, everyone in Puerto Rico had the same needs. So how do we relate? How do we, you know, hear each other and create? This week, I traveled to Puerto Rico with the Assemblage and 109 Room, where I met Jose, who I think is a symbol for how Puerto Ricans have come together to heal in the wake of disaster. Jose was born and raised in San Juan, the capital city. He was a bartender working three jobs just to keep his apartment. You know, it's an aggressive life here in Puerto Rico, you know, living in this colony here, well, we, we gotta struggle a lot and hustle a lot to survive. But now, he's chosen to live here, in a house in a small town in the mountains that was abandoned by a family after the hurricane. Right now, I don't have electricity. It's a lot different than city life. When Hurricane Maria hit last September, Jose stayed in his apartment, watching the storm ravage his island through his window. This is from my balcony in my apartment, and this was during Maria. So I started trying to draw something, because I don't even draw, but there wasn't nothing to do at night, so. After the storm, Jose and his friends Omar and Noel visited Pucarabones, a community in the Las Marias Mountains, to help with recovery. They found a town that had been left behind by the government's relief efforts. Pucarabones didn't have power or water for a full six months after the storm. We kept on coming every weekend. One day I said, you know what? Um, I have a feeling in my heart that I gotta stop working what I do because it's, it's not making me happy and I can't go when I know that out there there's people suffering. Jose and his friends decided to drop their city lives and stay for good. Alongside their new community, they've been constantly learning and bringing in ideas for rebuilding and strengthening, like installing these recycled plastic barrels in homes to collect rainwater. They're opening up a community center in the town's abandoned schoolhouse to serve food and distribute resources. Every day we learn different stuff. Talking with the community, another thing comes up. It's more than just rebuilding the buildings. It's about rebuilding the community. To have a library, to have workshops, art, agriculture, recreation, sports, the gym. We need people to be active here. Ultimately, Jose is helping the community to come together, to unite, and to share ideas with each other. People say that they didn't, they didn't know their neighbor. And after Maria, they're getting to know their neighbors and even more, they're creating with each other. It's amazing how sometimes the darkest things make people come together. It, it, it had to be the way. You know, we had to help each other. If we stay waiting for help, or if we stay waiting for our government to react, we're just gonna stay and rot. So we gotta, we gotta do it ourselves. There will be more storms, there will be more destruction, but Puerto Rico is gonna be stronger and better for the next one. It's, it's beautiful because I, I can see and I, and I have hope that we're going to make another society out of this. I'm Jose from Puerto Rico, Las Marias. Rally on! Rally on.